we have this assembly inside an elevator an elevator is going up with an acceleration of w not we need to find acceleration w dash of the cylinder relative to the car and f exerted by the cylinder on the ceiling so because we need to find the acceleration with respect to car let's analyze the whole situation with respect to elevator so now elevator is moving up with w not so the center of mass will experience a pseudo force downwards will be that will be m w not and mg is already there and the third force is tension so now we have these three forces let's try to talk about point p so we don't need to worry about tension so about tor about the point p t top p is equal to ip alpha and torque is mg plus mw not into r is equal to mr square by 2 plus mr square into alpha which gives the value of alpha so we need to find the acceleration of cylinder with respect to car so because this point is at rest with respect to car the acceleration of this point will be simply alpha r so alpha r is our answer now force exerted by the cylinder on the ceiling so we can do it by either force method where we write mg plus mw not minus t is equal to ma and then get the value of t but let's do it in another way because if we calculate the torque about point o we don't need these two forces at all so it's going to simplify our situation quite considerably so torque about point o is i o alpha and alpha is same it doesn't matter we are writing when when we are considering the when we found the alpha when we balance the torque about o about p or when we balance it about o the alpha is going to be same so anyway uh tau about o will be tr is equal to i not alpha so i not will be mr square by 2 and alpha is what we calculated here so from here we get the value of tension so this is what i have written here also theta omega alpha of a rotating body is independent of translational frame of reference be it accelerating or non accelerating so this point o was moving down but still when we wrote the torque equation about o we got the same alpha which we got with respect to this point which we, which was at rest so second part is quite important i mean quite easily we solved this without writing the force equation which we generally write along with the torque equation all right